Hey, everybody. Hey. I had to stop Chris from uh, singing Happy. <laughs> the OPT shirt version. But, but here's the thing. And not because I, I don't want Chris to be happy. Don't get on my case, you three people that listen to us. <laughs> Bullying is not okay. Don't bully me, three people. I could probably figure out their name, location, all that other good stuff. Um, but Chris... Chris is uh, in a little bit of bad mood. That's okay. He's okay though, man. He's not. We're going to change that bad mood. He's going to change that bad mood. But just as a heads up, we're going to spend some time together. And Chris is a grumpy bear. We're going to have a conversation. Make Chris less of a grumpy bear. You're a grumpy bear, which is fine. I'm I'm okay with grumpy bear every now and then. Hey, Brendan. Yeah. Do you know what today is? April. April Fool's Day. I hate April Fool's Day. I love April Fool's Day. Why? Well, actually, no, I love it and hate it. Why? Okay, There's no I love reason. it for the sense of on the internet, April Fool's Day is a free for all where companies yes. get to have fun, and it's nice to see big companies that normally have terrible stigmas yes. have fun. So, and we, include include their users yeah. at with the fun instead of making it at their expense <laughs> to make money. So you, you but you were telling me about you saw some stuff. Um, online, right? Yes, um, there were a couple jabs at the Wii U. Um, uh, I think it was EA, uh, and there's another developer. They were talking about how they were working on these major projects yeah, yeah. that are going to be PC only, but they're making them available for the Wii U. And, and some of the reactions were just like, guys, this is kind of mean. You that know? is mean. Because <laughs> the Wii U is dying as a system if, in case you haven't uh, listened to us ever or rip just, on it. Or just happen to look on, I don't know, any major gaming website and there's no <laughs> mention that it even exists. This game is coming out, not but not for the Wii U. Yeah. Here's another game for the Wii U that you're going to definitely miss. And then there was one that you, I know, yeah, yeah. would freak if it was real. Fox releasing the rights to their Marvel characters. All of them uh, at who, the same time. Who did time. that one? That would have made me sad. Uh, a couple different sites did them in different... Bastards. <laughs> there was one that... That would be the one that would get me, though. I'd be like, oh my god, finally! At 8.30 this morning, I saw a post that said that they were going to do Marvel Civil War, and I almost shit myself because I forgot that it was April Fool's yep, Day. I did, too. That's, I think that's why I don't like April Fool's, because I feel like I always get tricked. It always makes me sad. Because I don't, I don't like... It's just goofy, you know what I mean? I don't care for it. I just don't care for it because it seems it's just silly. Some years though, they do some stuff that it really makes me want these things to happen. Yeah, I guess I don't know. IGN did a trailer for a Legend of Zelda movie. That was funny though. That was it was really good. It was well thought out, well put together, and then at the end of it, everyone goes, "Fuck, it's yeah, April Fool's April Day." Fools. <laughs> you just scroll down to the comment section. And you're just like. Let me see how much I hate myself so much because everyone else hated themselves yes. too. <laughs> I just don't care. They had a good one this year for any fans of Adventure Time. Um, uh, ThinkGeek.com yeah. It's a good website. They always have good fake products that they sell on Valentine or uh, <laughs> April Fools. Um, they had one that was a <laughs> Freudian slip, a, a Nerf nuclear device where you j- launch it into an area and it would shoot out. You know, like the little projectiles yeah, yeah. that come out of the guns? It would just shoot out in a 360-degree radius. That's actually kind of funny. It's awesome. That and they awesome. had they had one that was a real live BMO from Adventure Time. Oh, I think you posted that today, right? Yes, because yes. I, I saw it, and I was like, oh, my God, this is fucking April Fool's Day. I know. Then you got all sad. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm, I just don't care for it. I like um, Around the Horn and Pardon the Interruption do April Fool's style stuff. That always makes me laugh. I, I I need to watch that. That I feel like would be good. Um, because they'll do something where they switch out the hosts, and it's one of the panelists that actually is a host. I don't know, it gets like some of it's like, all right, I get the joke, it can stop now. Um, but some of the times it's funny, so I'm gonna catch up on that when I get back and watch. Google did some good ones. They had uh, what did Google do? on Google Maps on your phone. Yeah. If you go on it um, and search a direction, they um, it has like a get started or uh, catch them all or something. And it's got a little Pokeball image. Oh, and you that's Click funny. on it. And you can zoom over Google Maps and you can catch Pokemon all over the world. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I like that. And then they had another one that was um, a uh, selfies generator that throws in the Hoff. Oh, that's that's. <laughs> now see that I can get behind. See that that that, that to me <laughs> he's like he's just like dancing that, next to you in the picture. <laughs> 
See, that to me doesn't bother me. Those are the type of April Fool's pranks that I like. You know what I mean? Because that could be that could happen any day of the week. Just throw that out there. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. That'd be amazing. But it's the one where it's like a fake news story, guys, or like I myself get pranked. I don't like any of that. Well, I mean, do you, do you like? Do you get pranked? Have you been pranked on April Fools? Um, April, why did I mumble the word? April Fools. <laughs> I haven't been drinking. Not that I can remember. Yeah, It'd I don't remember. Anything, it's just yeah. like the little things, like the Marvel one. Yeah, that this close. Oh yeah, this close. I nearly shit myself. I was like, <gasps> best movie. In... Wait a second. Today. Wait, hold on. You're Scroll like, in the comment you... section. Yeah. <clears throat> Ginger. God. And then you died. And, <laughs> and then you I came died. back to life. <laughs> We can save him. <laughs> Gotta hate yeah, you, Fox. I hate you. <laughs> um, I, I started playing South Park Stick of Truth just as a quick addendum to what we talked about last week. Love and? it. It makes me laugh. I'm at the part where I just fought the bard, <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm taking my time with it. Like, I'm really trying <laughs> to explore so everything. Um, and my lady played, and um, she's not good at blocking or any of the, like, the uh, special stuff. And she never upgraded anything. She didn't know what that was. I was like, why don't you just go through? And, yeah. then, and then I upgrade. I was like, she's like, oh, so that's what that is? I'm like, yeah, I've been upgrading. Like, I already have, like, five upgrades in, and I'm at not even through a third of the game. Well, I was talking to her about Tomb Raider, and I was saying some things that you get with the bow later on. Yeah, yeah. And she was just like, oh, I didn't get that. I was like, what do you mean? You didn't upgrade? Yeah, yeah. She's like, no, I didn't upgrade anything. I'm like... You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, she doesn't upgrade any stuff. I mean, which, I don't know, I guess it's admirable in some ways, because then she's really, really challenging herself. But I guess, but... But I was wondering why everything looks so hard in that game in South Park. I'm like, this is South Park. It's supposed to be fun. And then I was like, oh, I, look at all these things. She's like, how'd you do that? I'm like, it's, remember the thing is that upgrade available that was always on your screen? You upgrade, and you can get do cooler stuff. She's like, I didn't know that. I'm like, it was in the game. They make a good point to tell you. She's, so that's real, she's a real gamer. She's a Mario She's tough, gamer. She's she, tough. she don't need no upgrades. She don't need those upgrades. <laughs> upgrades are for wusses. Um, but I did see you saw. Well, talk about your movie because your movie is probably better. Is good. Monumental right? in scope. No. Uh, it was. I saw Noah. It was good. It was. Um, <laughs> I built it up first, too much. <laughs> two, the first two thirds of the movie, very very impressive. Um, it kind of. Not what I expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last part of the movie kind of stretched and got a little preachy. Yeah. But overall, for a Bible story, being directed by someone that did The Wrestler. Darren Aronofsky. Um, Black Swan. Yep. The Fountain. Those are the main ones, yeah. Yeah, Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. Um, the, uh, Very well done. Okay. Tasteful. You know, nothing that was, you know, you didn't want to, like, hide your kids so they yeah, didn't yeah. see it. Uh, I wouldn't go see it again. Okay, and I won't get it on DVD. <laughs> You're like, well, I mean, that's I okay. I saw it. Russell Crowe did a really good job. That's good. I like Russell Crowe. The Onion did it. Their review the best, yeah. saying that the entire movie was an allegory for Jesus, <laughs> even though Noah took place. Yeah, first. I know. <laughs> that's awesome. That's what I thought looking at him. Like this guy's playing Jesus. Uh, I, you saw a movie too. I did. You did. You I saw, saw. I saw sabotage. Wait. So you watched the Beastie Boys music video? No. <gasps> the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Oh. <laughs> um. It is a ludicrous premise. A man of Arnold's age, sixty something, leading an elite squad of DEA agents. He's a Terminator, though. He can do whatever he wants. <sighs> who has a dark past. <laughs> You know, my husband be sigh like every every sigh, every, film, every plot point, <laughs> every action film trope, <laughs> disgraced, former, old, grizzled. Uh, the dialogue. There are moments you watch and you're laughing, and you're not supposed to be laughing. <laughs> and that's a good start. Like he walks in, and he's supposed to be very you know tough. Like the, the I'm not spoiling anything because it's a movie that no one will give a shit about. So if I spoil it, f you. That's how I feel. Oh no! You don't spoil care. it. Don't spoil it. Just well, I'll give, give you us a little, a little a bit. Taste. This comes in the beginning. <laughs> well, there's a part where he, he, the crew, they're they're for one reason or another, they're on a hiatus. He comes back, and they're all doing like stereotypical. What happens when there's no boss? Everybody's playing Steroids. video games. Oh, video yeah. games. Yes. Video games. They're like tattooing <laughs> each other. They're doing terrible jokes. Every other word is an F, F word, which I'm not. Yes. I'm not. 
prudish in the sense of with language, but I like it when it's used effectively and creatively. What the fucking fuck 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 are that, you? Yeah, fucking well, that's fuck? not it. Fuck. Stop it. Fuck. Too many cursing. <laughs> Christopher, we talked about. Are this. you talking about? <laughs> um. So like, it just doesn't seem to make. <laughs> You're an ass. I feel better. You feel better? Yeah, I'm not an angry bear anymore. <laughs> you're you're just bear. Just just normal. You're just normal bear. Normal cuddly bear. Plotting around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Apparently I'm a fuzzy bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Arnold walks in and he kind of looks around. He's trying to act tough and then he goes, "What the fuck is going on? It smells like a flat house in here." And I'm just like, <laughs> "What's he talking about?" <laughs> And then he just, uh, there's just like stupid one liners. Like, there's a bunch of dead bodies, and they walk past cops. And Joe Mangiloni, I don't know if I'm saying his last name right, from True Blood, is in this movie. All right. And he turns around and he goes, Clean up in aisle three. And, Ar- <laughs> and Arnold goes, <laughs> And it's like, That's terrible. That sounds good. No, it's terrible. It sounds and, amazing. And Arnold's doing all these terrible one liners like, Keep driving! Keep driving! Get in the car. I saw a bunch of animals, and you saw people saying the f bomb and clean up on aisle three. I, I think the, we should have traded. Uh, the ending, I know. <laughs> the ending makes no sense. The plot makes no yeah, sense. Karen told me the ending. I heard it was uh, the ending is dumb. Yeah. We'll give you another week, and I'll just rip it to shreds next week. <laughs> but the ending is dumb. <laughs> and I know that I'm asking a lot of an action film, but there are smart action films out there, and I was severely disappointed. This is not necessarily a smart one. That's but a it's good fun segue to a smart action film this Thursday. Oh, Captain America. <laughs> the, Winter <Soldier. laughs> the Winter Soldier. I think you and I are both going to see it at some point next yes. week. Um, we have to review it next week. It's, yes. That's a I'll do my best. I'm going to try and, and see it this weekend. I'm in out of town unexpectedly on Saturday. That, that, wait, you can't, you can't just do that. Well, I have a family party, and I'm going to get back late, so I have to see what's but going on. you can't. We have to. I know. I'm going to see it. Don't worry. I'll see it. it. It's important. I know it's important. I'll do my best to try and see it. It's the only movie continuity that's going on right now I that know. makes any sense and we can attach to. You can't. You have Right I'll away. See I'll see it. You've got to see it on Thursday midnight. <laughs> no, I'm not, I, I don't care about it. You know I don't care about any of that. No, I know. I know. Um, you're going to see it, though, midnight, right? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go. I, yeah, I don't care about that stuff. To Potown. I'll be asleep. I need to sleep. I need my beauty rest. I'll be shaking with violent excitement. I don't like I'm it. They make it line up. Going, yes! You can't pick your seat. I'm going to wear my Captain America shirt going, Captain America! When I'm going to wear my Bucky shirt. Captain America throws his mighty shield. Don't spoil it that Bucky's the Winter Soldier. <gasps> oh, come on. If you don't <laughs> I think know we, are, we, now, already, we already covered we that. We already covered that a long time ago. <laughs> So we're both excited to see that. This is short. I don't know. Do you have anything else? I know it's like super short. Holy moly. We went like... We went through it fast. Like, rapid fast. Can we talk about how the Xbox Live Games for Gold program is one of the most disheartening programs? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know? No. Okay, Xbox Live Games Mm -hmm. for Gold is competing with PlayStation. You know how you get a couple free games every year? Or every month? Um, It's Xbox's version where you get to keep the game permanently. Once you download it, it's yours forever. Versus PlayStation's, which is once you get rid of the service, I don't think you have the game anymore. That's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hitman Absolution is the game they're giving this month. Yeah. Good game. I liked it. Yeah. Okay. I played it. Yeah. It's now wasn't one. wasn't Blood Money the better game? Blood Money is the better game. Yeah. Okay. That's my problem. Why? They give away the game that makes you go, oh cool, I can have it, but it would really but it's free though. Like, yeah, except for the fact that everyone that's been playing Xbox Live for the past four or five years has been spending 60 bucks a year and you're getting free games that are like three, four, five, six years old. It's like yeah. PlayStation's gamers are getting games that are like six, eight months old for free Yeah, to play whenever they want. You got to download those, right? Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, but still, that's yeah. still, you know. Well, I, I don't know. I'm indifferent because I think a new game is a new game. So Hitman Absolution came out about a year and a half ago. So it's not that far. That's probably one of the newest ones that they've it's released a new, then. It's the newest one, yeah. It's the newest 
Hitman. But Blood Money is more of the classic, but that's about four or five years old now. Oh. So, so this one is a step up in You're a sense. step up in graphics, design. It's a fun game, but it's not... I heard it's a break from the mold of the A normal. little bit. It's, it's not... Um, it's more action forgivable where the other one wasn't. Okay. And some of them you're kind of forced into. Like, unless you really want to play... You you can play stealthy, but it's a hell of a lot more work than it used to be in the other games, which I think is where, for me, annoying, because I don't want to spend painstaking hours mem- trying to memorize the walk pattern of one guy. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's why I'm like, nah. Well, in comparison, the PlayStation users are getting Batman Arkham City this month oh, wow. for free. Oh, yeah, I got to download that. Yeah. Because I get it. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I would... I would like pee myself with joy. Just peeing You're everywhere. Disgusting. There's a peeing, happy, cuddly bear, <laughs> peeing everywhere with joy. If that was the game that was free this month, <laughs> I beat the game. I play it again. <laughs> I need to finish the game one more time before, before Arkham Knight. Which we don't spend money on. I didn't want to. I had an argument at GameStop with an employee. Yeah. <gasps> I traded in Thief for $18, <laughs> which means I paid 40 to be disappointed. But with that 18 Wait, did you pre-order it? On Amazon, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. So I brought it back, and I got, un- I got Infamous, Infamous 2, and Uncharted 3. You're going to have so much more, more fun. More fun, I know, than that one With game. Infamous. Yeah. And then double the fun with Infamous 2. And then Uncharted is just an excellent game. It's series. an excellent game. And I want to fin- I have one and two, so I want to finish the series. Yeah. Um, so they didn't even ask me why. I finish the series m- till it comes out with Uncharted yeah, 4? Tr- tr- yeah, until that comes out. <laughs> but I mean, finish the current. I think, th- aren't they going to do it? Yeah, I think they're working on it now. Okay. But I mean, finish the series in the sense of what's on PlayStation 3. Naughty dog. You didn't have to say that. They, they make the game. Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog makes Uncharted. <laughs> it's like you're a walking, talking footnote for this pod. I, you know what? I feel like we have we don't clarify our stuff, or at least no. I don't clarify. No, my you stuff don't ever. <laughs> you just barrel through. That's fine. You're a barrel and bear. Barrel and pissing, happy, smiley, cuddly bear. <laughs> it, it, I'm gonna add more adjectives as we go. That's gross. <laughs> so this. Uh, let me finish my story. Okay, finish your story. So they're not asking me about the game. Normally they're like, oh, did you like it? And, and it's two girls and they're not asking me. So I just go, this game's terrible. <laughs> and I point at Thief. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, really? I like, really? Well, I think, you know, most people that bought it expected, weren't expecting so much stealth. I said, oh, no, I wanted stealth. I played it on PC. And they're like, Oh, wow. Because then I'm like, because I'm 30. And I play, remember that game. <laughs> All right. You look like you're 18, both of you. Oh, the PC. Yeah. And I'm like, and I played Thief 2. I didn't tell them that I didn't have a graphics card that allowed me to really play, but I played it part way. And she's like, oh, well, did you play for PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3? It's a PlayStation 3. She wasn't the one that was, I don't want to make her feel like a big idiot. She wasn't the one that was actually going through the process. She didn't see yeah. my turn in. She's like, oh, well, I have a PlayStation 4. I really loved it. Everything worked great. I said, audio was terrible. I didn't know where I was, and the story makes no sense. <laughs> and I was, I don't know why I was angry, but I think I just that game was sitting on my shelf to be, every time I forgot about returning it, it was always like, hey, I'm still here. I'm Thief. Why I have a couple me? of those games that stare at me. <laughs> yeah. So she said, well, I have a PlayStation 4, and I finished it. It was really great. It's really meant for the PlayStation 4. And I was like, all right. I didn't want to argue anymore, but in my mind I was like, that probably works for graphics, but when I come in and say the sound sucked and the game itself and mechanics sucked, that doesn't get any better with the next gen machine. Yeah, no. It's still a shit game. Unless they unless they just dumb down the sound files, but even then No. It's you can't You can't. You can't. So I was just like, <laughs> All right and I said, Well, I got three fun games now and she t- proceeded to tell me about how Infamous Second Son was awesome. And that she it only ha- has her Xbox One boxed away, and she only uses her PlayStation 4. I was like, okay, GameStop girls, this is fun. 
You know, it depends on which employee you get. There's a couple. They were nice. I don't want to be mean. Yeah. No, they're always nice. But there's yeah. a couple that will give you real game opinions, right. Right. regardless of what you're gonna buy, so that you you don't spend money that you don't want to spend. Right. Versus the ones that'll just they'll tell you everything's good, and then right. magically you find yourself spending money that you didn't want to spend, spend, and then you go, "Well, fuck, this game sucks." Yeah. <laughs> Thief. That's what Thief was. Kane and Lynch. <laughs> Kane and Lynch. Oh, you did that with your bar. Oh, no. My brother came to visit, yeah. um, and uh, we didn't want to do the bars. We just wanted mm-hmm. to just have a chill time, hang out. So we went to GameStop, got it cheap for, like, I think, 10 bucks, yeah. and played the first one and beat the entire game. And then afterwards, we're like, man, the game sucked. <laughs> the game was awful. <laughs> Kane and Lynch is a bad game. It's so bad. <laughs> Um, so that was my, but yeah, you're right. Most of the time they're, they're like, don't do this, buy this. But then she was like, oh, if you want to trade in your PlayStation three, we're offering an additional 50% trade. And I said, I just bought mine. And I wanted to also be like, I'm buying three games right now that are PlayStation three. Why do I want to trade it in for less <laughs> than I could get? That's when you just like wink, nod. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I'm, cause I talked about Arkham Knight. And I'm like, well, I'm going to have to buy one early. Finish. Oh, you could trade it. I said, why, I want to be like, why the hell would I buy three games then now? Yeah, you're doing your uh, catch up on the old times that Ugh. you didn't that you didn't experience. Yeah, exactly. So she said, "Well, there'll be a bundle." I was like, "I'm sure there will be a bundle. There's always a damn bundle." <laughs> it's gonna have a big bat symbol on it. And then I peed all over at GameStop, just like an angry bear, angry pissing bear. I'm the happy bear now, and you're the angry bear. <laughs> I did get angry bear. <laughs> all right, man. Let's wrap this thing up. Let's wrap this up. I'm running out of steam. No, it's okay. It's good. Um, what did you learn today? <laughs> I learned today that. Everyone's got that game yeah, that sits on their shelf and stares at you, letting you know you waited too long to trade it yes. at GameStop. Yes. It has no more value it because no more value. Yep. you suck. Yep. I agree. <laughs> what did you learn today? I learned that you are, when you're happy, you may pee all over the place. With joy. With joy. Everywhere. And if you poop, <laughs> that'll be a wonderful thing, too. Best word ever. <laughs> I'm Chris. I'm Brendan. I hope you poop well out there tonight. <laughs> Poops to you. Poops. Everybody poop. Sabotage in theaters now. Poop. <laughs>